don't look now. There's a puma over my shoulder. If I move fast enough, I'm hoping I can make it behind the toolbox over there. He doesn't seem to be looking at me. Wait a minute. It's Safety Cat Bean. And his new luxury penthouse perch. Where he'll be able to look over all the birds flying around out there. Whether they land in the street or fly in the air, Safety Cat Bean will have an eye on them there. Hey everybody, Model Man here with another update on the paint booth. And in this case, in flicking a power switch, and at just over 19 feet of smooth natural white LED tape from Modeler's brand all wired uh, sequentially into each other essentially from each end and powered by the alligator clip over here so that's the lighting next to that oh yeah and just recently I installed these handles I was going to use these for helping to tote the booth itself around and uh, move it however I soon realized, immediately realized, that these were going to be in danger of getting hit by other things around. So, putting these guys in, that's definitely a good start. In the and for version 2, I would definitely replace these with uh, something smaller and more appropriate. And starting up close, way up close from the wall, down here I have just completely uh, tightened up and hopefully minimized the overall length of pipe that the uh, airflow has to go through. I was just noticing that there's a little bit of a kickback in the front there. It's a very small area though. So with that I have uh, zip tied up and so with that as you can see I've zip tied the duct to the wall and just staple gunned it into place. The second row is simply looped through the upper uh, zip tie and the same goes for down there. I would like to have minimized I would like to minimize the amount of right angles that the uh, air has to travel however there's really only so much one can do especially in a confined space like this. So with that this is one of the last looks uh, down here before I put the paint booth back together the illusion of free space back there, we'll see how much is actually there once this lowers back into place. That could It's probably still going to be floor level for these guys here. Two full boxes of paint there, 10 by 10 inches each. And uh, a bag for rags. And oh yeah, I should wire up this loose receptacle right there. It's not wired into anything at the far end, but I did just find the screw and... There it is right there. So I'll fix that. I'll lower this back into place and we'll take a look at the next layer. Actually, let me remove this. For the first, last, and only look at what's going on here, and that is just a hole in the ceiling going through the wall there and underneath and into the control panel, which is itself uh, completely wired into this lower stack here which is independent of the dolly below and as you can see here this is the outlet I gotta screw in now and there's and here we are with almost everything reassembled again I haven't put the roof back on yet or the floor back in but otherwise everything is still doing good I will be able to stack this box here on top of the one behind it and get even more storage space down there. So that will be nice. And otherwise everything is pretty much as efficient as I should be able to get it at this point. I am concerned that there is still just a little bit of kickback right in this area here. It's probably about that tall right there. and. Uh, I can always work around it and I can actually feel it blowing all the way 
over to here. Well, maybe that's just the suction of the air overall. I am realizing that to really see the smoke flow, you know, burning a piece of incense in here or something, I would really need a black background with the light on it to see it the best, and that is not going to be easy to do. So, but I will be doing smoke tests, and I will be doing those extra bolts over here because uh, I definitely want this as tight as possible. Otherwise, everything is pretty much fully operational. Let's put it all back together. And so another note is that all along the wall here, I've penciled in the sweep path of the floor as it raises and lowers to hang on its hook for access below. So if I have any models hanging anywhere, else then I pretty much won't be able to open the floor very easily or at least I wouldn't be able to store it up at the back in that default position. The temporary wire I'm using just uh, pushes right down into the bottom nice and out of the way and let me get the hood on. And here I'm up to one last modification. This is actually an initial error that threw things off. This is this ceiling here is square and this guy is just a little kicked back as you can see. So what I'm going to do before I finalize this and spin this into the corner there and make it much more difficult to get to, I'm going to fix that. I'm going to pull that screw out of there. That don't belong. I'm going to replace any wood that I need to and uh, yeah it should be a relatively quick fix. I expect I can just loosen this, kick it out of the way, replace the board, whatever. Let me take a look.